the book of Revelation is written by John, the Peter, James, and John, John. Mm -hmm. We sometimes get a lot of those. But John, who is in exile on the Isle of Patmos. So he's been sent off into exile and he's writing those who are being similarly persecuted as he is. Okay. And so there's already that personal level of we're being collectively persecuted. So what's going to bring uh, help and support and peace into our lives? And so the book of Revelation is a peace in, in overcoming that. And so the book of Revelation is misnamed. Uh, a little bit. When we think of revelation, we think of a vision or mm -hmm. we think about some kind of uh, great statement. Uh, but the word here in Greek, the better translation would be the apocalypse of John. Okay. And now I don't want anybody to hurt, worry about, <laughs> you know, uh, hailstones or Visions anything. Dark other, horses. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the apocalypse we're talking about. Instead, we're talking about the Greek context of the word apocalypse, which means to unveil or to uncover. Okay. And so we're going to reveal, unveil, uncover who Jesus Christ is. This is a revealing of Jesus Christ. It's unveiling that the plan of salvation is uh, completely dependent upon the atoning sacrifice of Jesus. And so everything that's happening in this text is trying to point us back to that central event. Okay. And then we're going to work our way out to the plan of salvation from pre-mortal life through mortal life, and then to the spirit world, then to judgment, and then ultimately to inheriting a, a kingdom of glory. And that's what Revelation is trying to show, but it's always going to come back to the focal point, which is the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Okay.